I'm, I'm going to hear from Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you very much, Mr Chairman. Uh, sometimes it's an interjection during the debate that can be most instructive about exactly what a party's motivation is for um, a particular piece of legislation. And while uh, the Green Party member Jan Logie was speaking, the member for Wairarapa, John Hayes, made the comment, they're not refugees, they're economic, uh, they're economic, what was the word, uh, opportunists. Economic opportunists. They're not refugees, they're economic opportunists. And in that one line, John Hayes has dismantled all the arguments that the National Party are making in favour of this bill. They're trying to make out as though they have some pastoral care, or that they're interested in the pastoral care of asylum seekers, and they want to set up a framework that is so draconian that it will, um, that it will deter people from embarking upon the dangerous journey, uh, not only from Asia down to Australia, but then the particularly dangerous part from Australia across the Tasman Sea to New Zealand. The part that, of course, is so dangerous that nobody's actually done it. Nobody's actually done that, but yet. And in fact, the Tasman Sea will provide more of a barrier to people wanting to try to come to New Zealand by boat than any piece of legislation ever will. But I just want people, I want New Zealanders to reflect on what John Hayes said. And that is that the National Party views people who are seeking asylum not as people who are escaping dangerous situations, not as people who would put themselves and their families at risk to escape a life which is such a nightmare that is so dangerous, that is so life-threatening, that they are prepared to put them at their, themselves at the mercy of those scurrilous people smugglers to set themselves to sea in, in vessels which are utterly unseaworthy and to put themselves at the mercy of the Australian authorities or maybe even the New Zealand authorities, that those people would go through that because they are simply trying to jump the queue or they are simply trying to put to, to advantage themselves economically. That is the most outrageous aspect of this, that the National Party are trying to dress this legislation up as somehow being interested in the welfare and well-being of those asylum seekers. And John Hayes revealed tonight that that is a lie, sir that that is an absolute lie. And I think it's important that we understand what we are debating and we understand the motivation behind what we are debating. And I thank John Hayes. I thank John Hayes, the Member of Parliament for Wairarapa, for telling the truth. It's an unusual characteristic in the National Caucus, but I'm very, very pleased that John Hayes was prepared to tell the truth. I would like to address uh, uh, the um, amendments in the name of Darian Fenton. Uh, now, uh, Supplementary Order Paper number 244 actually sets in law what the Minister said he expected to be the situation. So why not lay it out in law? And that is that uh, asylum seekers who arrive in New Zealand would in the first instance be sent to the Mangere Centre, where they are actually set up to deal with refugees and asylum seekers and their specific needs. Sending them to a police cell or a prison or some other detention centre, built possibly by Circo, I don't know, uh, is not the appropriate well, they might be performing very well in that member's uh, estimation, but that member might want to consider why the New Zealand Superannuation Fund has just excluded Serco because of their policy regarding ethical investment. I want, the, I want that member to go away and have a read about why Serco has been excluded because of their unethical behaviour. Well, sir, I, I agree we should be talking about the bill, but that member over there brought uh, the subject up. I, I, I believe we should have it placed in legislation that in the first instance uh, asylum seekers should go to Mangere because that is where they will be best 
uh, uh, looked after, and that is the facility that is best placed to take care of those asylum seekers. And the minister himself said that that's what he expects to happen. So let's codify it in law. Let's just codify that in law so that it is unambiguous and the authorities understand exactly what the government expects. So I support Darian Fenton's amendment, sir. Yes. <coughs> Darian Fenton. Very much, Mr. Chair. I'm happy to have an opportunity to talk to my supplementary uh, order papers, but it's really important to remember where this bill came in part one and part